recent Columbine massacre in Colorado where two disturbed teens gunned down their high school classmates and there's been a series of school shootings since then, we've been forced to look at the culture of violence as it extends beyond high schools and even video games. Violence and aggression are just part of the stresses of modern society. And we all seem to agree violence is up, but what are we going to do about it? The statistics show that youth violence is on the increase, but does this indicate a general increase in our violent world? And some artists actually embrace the violence like Slipknot. Slipknot right now are the kings of violence core. Would you agree with that? Well, let's take out core, and violence would be cool. Kings of violence. Lyrically, when, when Corey's getting into some of the, the killer violent lyrics, which obviously represents something that you guys are feeling or were feeling, you never wonder that, you know, a kid may not Brandon be able to... Brandon Victor with 21 aliens here, thank you. Corey's deal is to, Corey's deal. He's got to say what he's got to say. He doesn't tell people to go out and do things. He's singing, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Obviously, your fans, you know, uh, you range in all ages, but the kids seem to identify with Slipknot more. Why do you think that is? They're fed up. It's like Slipknot was fed up when we came out. They're tired of it, and we're we're a course of action. Well, how do you relate to the violence inherent within Slipknot lyrics? I love it. It makes me want to hurt more people. I'm going to go in there and break as many noses as possible. It's going to start swinging. It's going to be great. Seriously. Seriously. No, really. That's, that's how I hear you get backstage. Hey, do you think TV and movies and video games makes you more violent? No. Man, it's all education, you know. I play this for the art of it. Yeah, it's interesting. Kids that are very young, up to age seven, really don't discriminate uh, between reality and fantasy. And they can be doing things that it comes as a complete surprise. The little child, for example, that shot the, uh, the, the, the other child in, in Michigan uh, earlier in the year didn't have any sense of what that child was doing. My brother plays a lot of video games, and like after he like you know does a lot of killing and stuff, like he'll come up to me from behind and he thinks it's funny, you know, when he comes and hits me or something. But yeah, they can't really tell the difference. I mean, it depends how old you are. Well, most parents want to bag on bands because of language and philosophy, but it's all in the parent, you know. Spend your time and talk to your children, and give them give them the the rundown on what it's about. You know, what art is about, what expression is about, what music is about. We'd rather people come to our shows and get their aggressions out in a, in a positive way, you know, with a smile on your face, mm -hmm. than to go out and get behind the wheel of a car and, you know, shoot people or have road rage and, you know, do stuff like that. But Woodstock was kind of unfortunate, you know, to have that, the whole thing that happened with the last day. You know, unfortunately, the press and the media, they, they want to point the finger at somebody. You know, it's either the promoter or it's the bands or it's the, uh, you know, the venue. But... The one group that nobody's pointing the finger at is the fan. 